So can I just get your reaction to the Senate saying you can't withdraw this? The House has already passed it. We're going to vote on it anyway. Were you expecting that? I was, sort of. The Republicans are hell-bent on moving forward because they're scoring political points, claiming that what we adopted is soft on crime. It's not, and I'm happy to get into that, but procedurally, the uh, Republicans in the Senate are, as I said, um, determined to uh, to go forward with a vote. That's why I moved to uh, withdraw the bill so that uh, it's not actually before them. What is before them is a House resolution, but uh, the bill itself has been withdrawn. And as I indicated in my letter, would have to be will have to be resubmitted in order for them to review it. Councilman, why write the letter if you expected the Senate to move forward with this vote regardless? Uh, because I expected the vote, particularly given uh, what President Biden said last week, that I expected the uh, the uh, Senate would vote to override our legislation. You know, we're the only jurisdiction in the country where the House and the Senate can override uh, local bills. Uh, that does date back to the Constitution and the way the uh, district was originally set up. It's better to pull the bill back and uh, for us to continue working on it, which is what I also said in my letter. So we're aware of the comments uh, from a lot of folks on the Hill. A lot of it's not accurate, but nonetheless, we can take another look at the bill and uh, we can make some changes, figure out what our next step is. It's better to take it back, pull it back and uh, to take a look at it than to just proceed uh, with with a vote, which at this point, so, if it happens, will be meaningless. So, Councilman, I hear you saying this effort is not dead. You're pushing forward in an attempt to get a version of this back on President Biden's desk. Well, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go too far with that. Uh, as I said in the letter, to pull it back and look at it uh, and figure out what our next steps are. But I okay. don't expect that I'll be retransmitting it well, uh, very soon. Let me ask it, you this question, Councilman, because... President Biden essentially said he was not going to veto the Republican override of this law. And essentially, Democrats are saying he doesn't want to look soft on crime. Is is the D.C. City Council out of step with where the National Democratic Party is on what has become a really critical issue? Oh, no. In fact, the bill that is getting all this controversy is, is a version of the model penal code uh, that many, many states have adopted. That's what's so frustrating about this. But the uh, the um, the bill has been reframed by uh, the Republicans in the House and the Senate. Uh, so, I mean, let's just take the crime of carjacking. Our current law has a 40-year maximum penalty. Judges don't sentence 40 years. They sentence 15, 15, one, five, 15 years. Mm -hmm. Our uh, revised bill has uh, at 24 years. Uh, let's take Tennessee, where Senator Haggerty's from. Their maximum is 12 years. Mm -hmm. No, we're not out of step. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, that's the way it's been framed. But I guess, and, and to play devil's advocate, the criticism would be crime is rising in major cities, including in D.C. Uh, robberies up 57 percent, carjackings up 46 percent. Is now the right time to soften penalties? Well, um, actually, the bill has a long period before it becomes effective. So if Congress wasn't overriding it, if I didn't withdraw it, it wouldn't become effective for a couple of years. And that would to give the courts and prosecutors time to to learn the new intricacies of this. So, yeah, it's great rhetoric to say that this is not the time to adopt it uh, because of rising crime. But in fact, um, this has a long ramp-up period. And Chuck Todd spoke to Mayor Bowser on Friday about this, and she, she talked about what she described as really the indignities of not having home rule. Is the sense yeah. that this scenario will play itself out over and over again until that happens? Well, there's a fear that uh, right now the dynamic is uh, that... Um, Republicans who are looking to score national points will gang up on the district because they can do that, such as this bill, soft on crime. Um, and it's put the Democrats on the defensive. Mm. And, uh, you know, we have seen that in the past. Yeah. D.C. Council Chair Phil Mendelson, thank you for your perspective on this. Please keep us thank updated. You. We appreciate it. 
Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.